Well, hormone therapy can lead to weight gain. Uh, I was warned about it, and I think I did gain a few pounds. Not much, I gained maybe 10. Uh, I've since lost that and a little bit more. I'm lighter than I have been in years, actually, right now. I, I did give up drinking as a result of all this. Um, part of it was personal decision, just I didn't want to drink alcohol anymore. Part of it was because of the urinary issues, I was finding I was urinating more frequently than I wanted to and beer wasn't helping. So I'm now basically not drinking at all. I drink um, water and coffee and everything else, but no alcohol. And then I found that that's been good for me. I'm not sure it's impacted me at all, quite honestly. I, I feel just as male as I did beforehand. Um, I was 61, 61 when I was diagnosed. Um, I'm as fit as I was before I was diagnosed. I do the same things I did before I was diagnosed. So, in, the, in many regards, I, that many regards, I'm the same person I was before. Uh, I don't feel any different. For me, I felt like I've had a sex change. Uh, my breasts have enlarged. I've gained a, a, a lot of weight. Uh, had other physical problems. My uh, blood sugars have gone out of whack and now I'm on insulin as well as a pill and of course with being incontinent the there is no sexual pleasure going to happen not to mention um, the old adage if you don't use it you lose it uh, it really is hard and it's been very hard on my family also. I remember when I, when I went <laughs> well, back to bowling I talked to one of the guys who had had the same operation he said you know you're gonna lose two inches off your penis <laughs> and uh, I says what? <laughs> that was a real surprise and the uh, incontinence and the impotence we didn't know because we had the nerve sparing operation and the doctor thought he was pretty successful but I don't think he was myself. But you know this is another fact of you know having to be to be able to uh, survive you know and I think uh, I think it's worthwhile and I have no problems with it. Well I do have problems but it doesn't bother me that much. At one point I really was really angry because my body was starting to let me down and that I didn't like. For the most part they have to do with uh, with uh, my bowel movements uh, and, and, and um, I, I have to be careful to, more than, than I used to be in making sure that I clean myself properly. I think that has to do with uh, the damage that was done to my prostate by the radiation. Yes, there was an impact because first of all what had to happen was I had to go for treatment, whatever, so therefore that's time off work. I have to ask for that and so therefore also traveling because I had to go from Waterloo to London so there's the, there's the travel involved. Um, another impact is the fact of course with again having hormone treatment is I was not really able to do my job as well as I could. So for a period of almost one year, I actually feel I was working perhaps at a, at a level of maybe 60 to 75 percent. I really could not give it my all. I lost weight simply because I was afraid to eat anything heavy because of the incision and the healing process. So I lost a few pounds. And I was eating really well, lots of vegetables. I went organic for a while, went vegetarian for a while, did all these things for a little bit. And slowly but surely, as the date of the surgery moved further and further into the back of my mind, I started reverting back to what I considered normal behavior. So I would have a glass of wine, I would eat my steak, and I would do all the things I was doing before. And I still managed to play 18 holes of golf. Sometimes I have issues coming down the fairway, but most of the guys golfing with me 
kind of know about it and take it with a grain of salt. And I go in halfway around and do my thing and come back out and try and play the other nine. And uh, I can't walk the course anymore the way I used to. My body's probably in the best shape I've been in since the Army. And people recognize that I'm in shape. And I feel good about myself and I feel I'm doing the right things to add as much longevity to this one life that I have to the best of my ability. Swimming is again a, an issue when we go to the beach because until I've been in the water it's hard to explain the wet bathing suit. And so you feel embarrassed. My day-to-day -day life has been impacted by the diagnosis um, very minimally. Um, my days haven't really changed a lot. I've got more time to spend with family. I've got more time to spend with uh, my hobby, which happens to be long distance running. It's, it's really made a huge difference also in that I don't want to go out as much because of the incontinence issues. I'm always nervous. And especially if we go out to dinner or go to the show or the theater where I'm sitting for a length of time and uh, get up and have an accident. So that's really changed things. Even a simple thing like going and buying furniture or taking a car for a test drive. So many things that I used to just do automatically, I can no longer do. I've been able to do all my hobbies, you know, I still do a lot of driving around, we go on vacations, you know, you, you maintain the normal life without any problems. I would say, you know, you still have to try and do things. And we now have a new puppy in our lives, which is giving me great joy and a reason to go back out and walk and stay as healthy as I can. I am even more uh, conscious of uh, my lifestyle and and the things that uh, you know that choices I make uh, now are more reflective of trying to keep myself more healthy than even than I was before I got diagnosed and and, and I had been doing pretty good before but uh, you know I eat a lot less red meat now than I had been eating prior to my diagnosis I eat more uh, chicken and, and uh, you know, fish. And, uh, you know, I'm just uh, more conscious of, um, of trying to um, live, take in healthier uh, things into my body and, uh, and, and let, give my body the best chance it, ha it can have to keep itself healthy. We've definitely had some financial stressors trying to make ends meet. We've had to change our way of living. It's difficult to know that you're not going to get the money It's just difficult. My mission was was to be around for for my children. My mother died when I was 11 years old and I would like my children to see me and my wife when they're adults and their kids see us. So in order for that to be a reality, I have to do some things deliberately. Diet, exercise, no longer optional, now mandatory. You know, fiber, fruits, physicals, you know, naturopathic medicine, all the different things I can do to put myself in the best position for a long 